I'm a financial advisor. I've been in the business for 40 years. I've, I've, um, as you can tell by my, my, uh, my gray locks, I've, I've gotten old doing this and I'm in South Carolina and, and, uh, in America. So, so I had to go, uh, had to go and comb my hair a little while ago to make sure that, uh, you know, I've never been on an international program before. You're looking good. No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm ready to go ahead and get started. I want to ask you this question. Um, I was uh, talking to a, a person the other day, and, and this was before I got in your last um, your last minute video, which you or a couple of them ago that you covered this. But I want to ask it. I want to ask you again because you can't. I don't believe you can go over this too much. Anyway, I was talking to a potential client. We were descending the the, the iceberg. We everything went uh, very well, and. Um, and we got to um, and we got to, got to the bottom. I gave him my recommendation. He liked the recommendation, or he seemed to. And then we got to. The, and I said, "Okay, where do, where would you like to go from here?" And what he did was was uh, he said, "Hmm, that's interesting. I'd like to think about it." And then uh, and then I said, um, "You know," and and, and I and I. He just got up and, and left. And you know, that means I don't want to think about it. That's what I want to think about. It means it was, I want to go home and not think about this. And so I don't know what I did leading up to that, that made it as, you know, to where that was even a question in his mind. So I wanted to right. throw that over to you, Ari, and, and sure. if you tell me what, the, sure. uh, what we should be doing. So if we think about this for a second, it takes a split second for him to say, yes, no, let's move forward. But it takes him a long time to get to that split second. So the question is, how do we compress that cycle? And I think the only, re in this case, the only reason why he wants to think about it, which means is he's indecisive. He wasn't prepared to say yes, because something early on in the iceberg process didn't give him the clear clarity on the urgency and the issue that he has in front of him. And if he doesn't solve the problem, what's the result of that? So I'm not sure how far he went down that path on the iceberg, but here's the key on that. Noel, on every meeting you have from now on, you have to help them get clarity on what happens if they don't solve their problem. What happens if they're not decisive? What's the end result? For instance, if they want to retire next three to five years, What's going to happen if they don't do a plan now? What will probably happen is the gap will widen, right? With taxes, inflation, there'll be more complexity. They'll be paying more money over time. Their fees will go up. You have to help them articulate what is the downside of not solving their problem. So I'm not sure to what extent you did that. But if you can get that piece of the puzzle added to the iceberg, then they realize, oh, okay, this will cost me X if I don't solve this problem. In, in in the fee to solve it with you is minimal compared to the impact of the loss, if that makes sense. Yeah, I, that does make sense because, uh, you know, and think about it. If you if you mentioned that, you know, down the road, if if you don't get to where you're going and you have to take that much more risk, then you're going to be then it's going to be harder to get where you're going. And you'll have to assume more risk than if you do it now. And that right. So. The focus of that end of the meeting was on the solution. It wasn't on the impact and loss if he didn't solve the problem. So your whole focus has to be about, look, here's your situation. You can leave it as option one. Leave it as it is. Don't solve it now, which is fine. But here's the impact of that. Boom, 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 boom. Solve it now. You erase that problem and you have peace of mind and you're on your way. Which would you like to do? Yeah, that's great. As opposed to, here's a solution to your problem. I'll think about it. See, you got to give him both options. Otherwise, if it's only one option, he's not going to decide quickly. That's right. And there's, he's not losing anything by saying that. Exactly. So add that piece to your puzzle, Noel. I think you'll do great. Thank you. Good to see you again. Take care. You too. You too.